Brad Gilmore alongside Carolina Teague and Chris Russo. And we are opening up today with Tag Team Championships on the line. They're the Island Boys, Chris. Kentish Brothers showed at Summer Champions they are not fluke champions. They get to defend them here again tonight. Showing off his dance moves. Now they are just as bad as I imagined. Carolina Teague, here are the Bollywood boys making their reality or wrestling debut. There's been a lot of talk of them coming down to Texas, and they finally did it. It doesn't surprise me. These men are doing the bonger dance, representing their Punjabi Indian culture, and they said they're here to represent well tonight. Well, you know what? They have an opportunity not only represent their culture, but represent themselves as new reality wrestling tag team champions in a debut no less kind of like the Island Boys did. <laughs> Will history repeat itself in such short fashion? We're going to find out here tonight. Looking forward to it. They say lightning doesn't strike twice in the same place unless you're the Hill Valley Clock Tower, but it could happen at reality of wrestling. This is a great way to come off of Summer of Champions 10. What a legendary series of matches we saw. And we thank everybody for tuning in, whether it be on the CW39 in Houston, our many television affiliates around the nation, or our YouTube channel, which is now over 790,000 as we make our march to a million. We appreciate you for checking out the reality of wrestling. And here's the thing. Chris, you know, I want to ask you this. When you talk about defending these titles as the Island Boys, you're going up against the Bollywood Boys, somebody who they've been there, they've done that, they've traveled the world. What kind of, what does that do to your psyche as the defending champs? Well, you either shrink or you step up to the plate and you answer the call. And for the Kentish brothers, the Island Boys, they were trained under the expert tutelage of WWE Hall of Famer Off of the Wild Samoan. Rest in peace. So, you want to talk about a great tag team mentor? Yeah, the Island Boys got it. One of the greatest tag teams of all time, the Wild Samoans. Again, rest in peace to Alpha and Sika. I mean, what do you think, Carolina? The Island Boys seem pretty, uh, they're pretty confident. They are not new to this. They're true to this. They really believe in themselves. And this isn't their first time actually going up against the Bollywood Boys. This is just our first time seeing it. And the crowd is going absolutely wild here at Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena. Well, it might not be the first encounter, but as you pointed out, yes, the first encounter at Reality Wrestling and for those tag team championships. We talk about the great tag team lineage here in Reality of Wrestling. One of the names that you have to mention. Oh, wait, hold on there. Cover one, two, our former one-time Reality Wrestling tag team champion. Another cover here. One, two, the Harlem Heat. Oof. Yeah, you know that old Booker T is watching this. Oh, my goodness. Another one. Two. And you know Booker's loving this quick action starting off here like, uh, like a hiccup. Quick, quicker than a hiccup, huh? Yeah. One of, one of the great one of the great old sayings. But you know what, Chris? I also want to think about this. Is when you when you talk about the Island Boys versus the Bollywood Boys, both with a similar style, very athletic, very quick, very agile. So who has the advantage here? We'll tag in here to to Gurv Singh. Gurv Singh, here we go. Here we go. One, two. Gurv Singh almost getting that. It's three. it's it's there is so much time and effort that the Bollywood boys have spent over these last years since leaving the WWE and they have only gotten better. So they're probably going to show the Island boys something or two that they haven't seen before. Could very well happen. We have an incredible show though for you this week on the Reality Wrestling starting off with the tag team titles that are on the line tonight. The Reality Wrestling Television Championship is on the line tonight and in our main event the former Empire State mm. Champion Danny Limelight will be taking on Ooh. NXT's Josh Briggs as some great teamwork for the Bollywood Boys. Wow. Kick to the face looked pretty harsh. Cover one, two. I can't wait to see Danny Limelight cry uncle against Josh Briggs in our main event tonight. I know that uh, Carolina's Chris Russo speaking your language. You're not a big Danny Limelight supporter, are you? No, I'm not. He's, he's absolutely disrespectful and rude. Well, you know what? I kind of like the guy, to be honest with you. As we get back to the action in the ring, 
We definitely are seeing the ring cut in half. And the oh, veteran instincts of the Bollywood boys are taking over as they're going for a cover here. Oh, wait, no. We saw a tag there. Our official vow on top of things. Yeah, here comes Harv. And again, how, how much better than a well-oiled machine can you be than brothers that have grown up cover together? Cover one, two. That have been doing this since day one. You know what, it's pretty interesting that they're all brothers. You know what I mean? And it's, it's like, you can't get better chemistry than that. No. no, I mean, it's inherent. It's in the DNA. You don't even have to speak what's already known. Mm -hmm. And these two teams are battling it out here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. And can one Kentish brother tag in the other? Anthony is in a world, excuse me, Hayden. Hayden in the trunks right now in a world oh. oh. of hurts. Anthony that wants to tag badly, but Harv yeah. says, I don't think so. Harv with a little disrespect, and maybe maybe not even disrespect as no, much no, no, as, no. as gamesmanship. That's exact, as that is it, right? You know, you try to get into the mind, those mind games against the, the relatively inexperienced Island Bulls. Oh! Going for a cover here, one. Two. And you could call this a home game of sorts for the Island Boys making reality of wrestling their new home base, winning the tag team championships. But um, do you feel like the, the home crowd can get behind them, Carolina, and give that extra ump they might need to beat the veteran team in the Bollywood Boys? I mean, they are, the crowd here is pretty going, going crazy. So you can tell they love the Island Boys, but the Bollywood Boys, let's not make any mistakes. They are trained under the best of the best, too. They've gotten the blessings of the Hart family. Ooh. And they're here to make a oh. statement. One, two. We talk about great tag teams. We keep throwing them out there. The Wild Samoans, the Hart Foundation, Harlem Heat, just a hallmark of professional oh wrestling gosh. knowledge. Look at that. Look at oh, this wow. fingertip away for making a tag. Man, Hayden wants to make that tag badly. He needs to make that tag badly, but the Bollywood boy is doing an expert job. Oh, look at that. At keeping the ring cut in half and not allowing the fresh man to get in. That is Tag Team 101 right there, and it's being executed with excellence, mm. one might say. When you look at a team that's trying to make their impact in their debut match, the Bollywood boys are doing a fantastic job showing absolutely all the great things they bring to the table. They earn their stripes. They have earned their stripes, but when does the Cinderella story come to an end, Chris? I mean, for the Bollywood boys, they're undefeated here at Reality of Wrestling. They won the tag team titles in their debut. At some point, the luck has to run out. You're talking about the Island boys. Here, the Island the boys, yeah. excuse me. Well, listen, hey, I, I think of it as Cinderella. They just got to the ball. The clock is nowhere near midnight here. Oh, oh my holy gosh. You want to talk about Hart Foundation right there? Yeah. I mean, Hart just hit the turnbuckles. And, oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, fly death. Fly death. Fly death attacking the Bollywood boys and the oh. Island boys. And a vicious beatdown. You know, we've definitely seen them not pleased that the Bollywood boys got this shot and this opportunity. We saw what happened at the Summer of Champions. Oh, wow. Turning a new leaf are fly brother Warren J and Zach Zilla, but oh! oh. Oh my I god. Mean, this is a vicious beatdown, Carolina. And they're street clothes too. This is insane. I mean, I have not seen Warren and Zach like this in any any fashion. And this is very shocking, I think, to all of us. It absolutely is. I mean, they're one of the stalwarts of the tag division. And you look at Fly Death, they are irate! Oh my gosh! Through the barricade! Through the barricade, and the former four-time reality of wrestling tag team champions oh my gosh. are getting a chair. What are they gonna do with that chair? The referee trying to get a hold of this, oh. but it is not working. And Anthony looks like he's in a bad way for a little oh. fly death. A fly definition. I mean, at this point, it's not even business. This is personal to fly to. Oh, watch out! Oh. Oh. Zach Zilla. I mean, talk about a chip on their shoulder. Is this supposed to put them to the front of the line? I mean, it's a statement, all right, but what statement here? To whom? To what? They're stating that they are still the dominant tag team in reality of wrestling. Fly brother Warren J. Zach Zilla. Fly death, leaving a mark on the Island Boys and the Bollywood Boys to open up the action 
This week on The Reality of Wrestling, Andrew Jackson is going to have his hands full with the tag team division.